Have you ever noticed when you drive past houses and apartment buildings and many other things in GTA and you look through the windows and every single time there is just nothing there? Literally every single window is extremely low quality and you could tell that Rockstar put no work or effort into any of them whatsoever. Unlike many other games, they actually have interiors. They're not accessible, and sometimes they might just be a picture of an interior, yet Rockstar Games, with every single one of their houses and apartment windows and building windows, they all look pretty much like what you're seeing on screen right now. The thing that I find very crazy is the fact that this game has been out for 10 years, and when we go buy a house or apartment or building, every single one of the windows looks just like that. Also, GTA has been available on extremely old-gen consoles, then last-gen consoles like PS4 and Xbox One, and now next-generation consoles like PS5 and Xbox Series X. Yet everything still looks the same. Obviously, it's not just buildings and windows. I could say the same thing about car interiors and street vehicles, which I've talked about in the past. But now let me show you something that Natural Vision Evolved has come up with. And it's nothing crazy, but it does make a little difference. So now I'm using my modded version of GTA 5, and take a look at the houses right here. Very first thing you notice is this garage. You can actually see an interior, and as you move your camera, the angle obviously changes. Now, it's not the highest quality. If you go close up to it, you can clearly tell that this is just a picture. And in other games, it's much higher quality. Like, for example, in Spider-Man, like the clip you saw earlier, the windows in that game are incredible. Literally every single window does this, but obviously it looks a whole lot better. And I believe the actual name of this is called Interior Parallax Mapping. I'm not 100% sure about that, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. But you can see all of these windows have this effect. And of course, this is only with the Natural Vision Evolved mod that I have downloaded. You can see this one right here. As I move around, everything inside also moves with me. If I go down, and also if I go up. Obviously going up close, it doesn't look as nice, but if you're further away, it looks much, much nicer. You can see every single one of these interiors actually moving around, even though when you go up close, you can clearly tell that it is just a picture, and there really isn't anything behind it. I'm genuinely surprised Rockstar Games has not done something like this, even to just a few of the houses or buildings that we have in GTA 5. And just to let you know, that clip you saw of Spider-Man, that was for the PS4. So it's pretty clear that PS5 and Xbox Series X could actually handle this. Now, obviously, they're never going to add something like this to GTA 5 right now. And I'm really hoping that they add something like this to GTA 6, because if they don't do that then it's just going to be very, very weird. Seeing a brand new game out from one of the best gaming developers in the world, and they're still slacking off on these little details. But just the fact that it's there on every single one of the buildings, every single window that you look through, you can actually see through it and see an interior inside. It definitely makes the game more visually appealing to the player. And of course, this house right here isn't actually in GTA 5. It's a mod. I'm going to be taking a tour through this very soon, so stay tuned for that video. But obviously, Rockstar would never add something like this, where you could fully see the entire interior and you actually have access to it. As you guys saw, those houses down there were just one example. But then if we go back to what Rockstar has been doing, this is what every other house or window looks like in GTA 5. There's literally nothing. Apparently, every single window is blacked out and dirty. And then there are some where Rockstar just kind of added a picture, but you could see it's duplicated many times. Like the one right here is also used right there and it's also used right there. And when you go close up to it, you don't really even know what you're looking at. The only thing I could tell is that is a curtain right here, and I have no idea what the hell this is, but it definitely does not look like the interior to an apartment. I know it's not the biggest deal in the entire world, but wouldn't it be cool to go and see different buildings in GTA 5 and be able to get a glimpse of what the interior could actually look like instead of just seeing black on every single one of the windows, no matter where you go in the entire city. There are certain buildings that actually have interiors that you can go inside and see. Rockstar could have simply done this with tons of different places all around the map. Obviously, that would probably be a little bit more difficult than what I showcased earlier and what they did in the Spider-Man video game, but still, it does make a difference. Seeing something like this compared to seeing something like this. You could see there is an actual interior within the building, and it actually looks pretty cool. Obviously, there's nothing in here, but you could see inside. So it's clear Rockstar could have done something like this. I'm just not too sure why they didn't. Like, imagine you look at the city, and it looks like how it does in Spider-Man. Imagine how much more beautiful it would truly 
look, because all you really need to do is have a picture in every single one of the windows. And even if they did duplicate it, or they made three or four different versions and then put those all over the entire city for apartment buildings, houses, building interiors, and things like that, it would look stunning compared to seeing something like this. I know I do complain a lot about what Rockstar does in GTA 5 and how they could have made things a whole lot better, but this is just one thing that I think they really messed up on because the technology is there and they have had their opportunities to do something like this. Even with the mod I have installed right now, like I said, it is not perfect. It doesn't look amazing, but it is better than looking at absolutely nothing. So comment down below what you guys think. Do you think Rockstar Games could have done a better job at building windows, house windows, and pretty much every single window in the entire city. Like I said, just try to imagine how beautiful the entire state of San Andreas would look if they did something like this, even when Expanded and Enhanced came out. It would have made a huge difference in terms of the overall quality of the game. Anyways, that is going to wrap the video up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you went on to enjoy it. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.